Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro. And before we dive into Azure Functions, we need to understand what is serverless. So serverless architecture generally describes fully managed cloud services. And I say generally because, um, you know, that definition of serverless can be highly contested about what can be serverless and what cannot be serverless. So it's not a Boolean answer of yes or no, but some services are more uh, serverless than others to a degree. Um, and so, you know, the way to help you understand serverless is the way I define it is I look at the following characteristics. One thing for a uh, cloud service to be serverless is that it should be highly elastic and scalable, highly available, highly durable, and secure by default. Uh, another thing is that it abstracts away the underlying infrastructure and are built based on the execution of your business tasks. So you're not really worried about how many CPUs and things like that. Maybe they are abstracted into like um, virtual CPUs or uh, away from what the original um, uh, hardware software is using. The idea is that it's a simpler value. Then the idea is that serverless can scale to zero, meaning that when it's not in use, you are not paying for anything. And the most important thing is you're paying for value. So you do not pay for idle servers. And just to kind of reinforce that idea that, um, that uh, it's a degree. Uh, my friend uh, Daniel, uh, who's really big in serverless, loves to describe it as like the energy rating system. So the idea is that uh, when you go to buy an appliance, such as um, you know a washer or a dryer, they'll tell you how energy efficient it is, and that's kind of the idea behind uh, serverless services. And uh, you know, we're going to be talking about function as a service, but function as a service does not necessarily guarantee that it's a serverless service. But we'll talk about that in the next slide, okay? 